a bit of a haul up the medal table given the high jump uh, standings at the moment so Ukraine will go on the inside the Italians they faded a little bit towards the end of the men's final didn't they let's see all of the teams introduced and we'll work out who's who so Ukraine Anastasia Brugina involved, uh, Katarina Klimyuk, who was uh, a semi-finalist. Brugina, both her parents, uh, Olympic champions. Rebecca Borga was a semi-finalist in the individual 400 meters. But Poland, well, surely they are the favorites. Natalia Kaczmarek, the European under-23 champion, has been brought into a team that have won everything and they have been the poster for some of the Polish teams at top events. What about the Brits? Jodie Williams, a great medal for her individually and uh, Zoe Clark, world championship medalist in London in 2017, pushed out of selection by the former the likes of Amma Pippi and Jesse Knight, who are now best as a hurdler. But what a team this is, goodness me. De Witt didn't actually make the final, despite the fact that she's a European medalist indoors and out. And meanwhile, the athletes are being called to their marks. The last track action of these championships. Ukraine, Italy, Poland, Germany, Great Britain and Northern Ireland and the Netherlands. What will the firepower of uh, Femke Boll add to their resources? Fair. Great Britain have the uh, championship record from 2013. And, uh, Poland, European outdoor champions, of course, who are always so, so strong. This is a tough one to call. So Lika Klaver, it is there on the outside. Come towards the inside now, and Zoe Clark of uh, Great Britain, so uh, a world indoor bronze medalist. So very much used to this occasion for Scott. Even at this stage with Germany in third position, and uh, Natalia Kazmarek for Poland. in the lead and then that's Jodie Williams individual medalist made her debut over 400 indoors this year and it has proven to be a good fit for Jodie who had a, a hot unbeaten streak as a sprinter and was 10 years ago she made her debut at these championships we've got a breakaway then of the top four Britain from Netherlands from Germany and Poland Bit of work to do for them. Every confidence uh, they can. Williams starting her leg, building a bit of an advantage. Now they all try and chase her, leaving something left for the home straight as well. That's been a good, solid run from her. Ball from one of the Dutch uh, incoming runners, but that's okay. They're now well back. Found Cabal is on the last leg and she's going to have a lot of work to do. Emma Pippi of Great Britain now pushed down into third. Kataria Bill of uh, Germany. What a leg this is to the outside and then the in because that's uh, she'll have to hand over eventually. But uh, play stage for them. You can see the pace 327 changing all the time in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. 327 is the championship record of Great Britain. So this at the moment is on for a pretty quick time as well. So handing over on this final leg. Amma Pippi just gets it to Jesse Knight. And uh, once again a Dutch incoming runner is on the floor, but Femke Ball is much closer than we thought she might be. 200 meters to go. 
Knight from Bowl. Can Jesse Knight, who uh, Justina Svetiertic in an indoor race that really cemented her place as a great 400 meter flat runner, hold off the young talent that is Femke Bowl, the individual champion. The same night as uh, Duplantis attempted a world record in the pole vault. How fitting that Femke Bowl should awaken us that she too is part of the next generation of track and field stars. Femke Bowl takes the title for the Dutch. Knight comes home for silver and then Poland. What a quartet that is, beaten into bronze on home turf as well. But a huge delight for the Dutch. Incredible stuff. And to be honest, everyone looks happy. And it's a championship record to boot for the Dutch as well. They've taken that mark set by Great Britain in Gothenburg in 2013. It was at 327.56. And uh, squeals throughout the stadium. What an incredible performance from the Dutch. Well, it was thrills and spills, but when you've got Anko Ball, Femke Ball involved and Lieber, Lika Kleiber as well, you had to start as the favourites. So it's double Dutch. They took the men's 4x400 metres just a moment or two ago. And the women, well, they've even surpassed them with that championship record. The Polish women in the past have had so much success having to settle for the bronze on this occasion, but any place on the podium the home championship I think they're going to be very very happy with the Britons well it almost came unstuck with Ampa Pippi and Jesse Knight struggling to get the baton over it did happen in the end and that probably in the end just took them slightly out of contention for the goal but they hung on and a very good silver indeed it was for the British quartet